What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. My name is James and for those of you who don't know me, I like clothes and well-made things. About a year ago, I did a full glasses review of everything that I own regarding glasses and a number of people have asked me to do kind of individual reviews on these pieces. So. Here I am. I'm gonna do this pretty casually. I'm not gonna get into super details. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment and I'll answer as I can. But let's get into the glasses. The first pair of glasses that I'm gonna do are my Dillon. For those of you who are not familiar, their Dillon is by Jacques Marie Mage. Jacques Marie Mage is a kind of a newer brand. All of their glasses are gonna be made in Japan, but they do all their manufacturing and design in LA. They were started in 2014, so almost a, almost 10 years old. So Jacques Marie Mage as a company is always trying to do stuff that's inspired by current events or history or things of that nature and this is the same. So the Dillons themselves are going to be inspired by the glasses that Bob Dylan wore in the 60s. They're going to be like a slight cat eye with a dark frame, kind of thick lenses, things of that nature. The pair that I got are called the Noir 3. They're a part of the Circa collection. So the Circa collection is going to be kind of their mainline stuff, stuff that they're always gonna kind of have in stock, um, although different colors will change throughout that, but they're always gonna have this style available. Being able to go on the website and purchase another pair is nice. Jacques-Marie Brage as a brand does 100% limited edition pieces. So this one right here is a limited edition pair of 500. Uh, this one I believe is number 62 of the 500, but they do different iterations. This is a, like a limited edition colorway, but they're gonna do a black pair with blue lenses or a black pair with red lenses, and they'll do gold. So they'll do different iterations of it. So if you're looking for a black pair, you can still very easily find one. I got them about a year ago, and they've just been amazing. They're my fun pair. I can't wear them to work because the blue lenses are kind of crazy. Um, when I purchase glasses, is I always try to buy the sunglasses version of it and then I swap out the lenses. You'll see that I'll just keep the lenses in a bag so if I ever want to get rid of them I can just pop these lenses out or go to the optometrist have them take the lenses out put the new ones in and then Victoria can wear them or I'll throw them on eBay and sell them and try to get some of my money back. These glasses are not inexpensive. They are about $750, but they hold their value pretty well. I would say if you bought these for $750, you'd be able to sell them pretty easily for $500. So you're basically getting a nice pair, like cost-wise of Ray-Bans or something maybe a little bit nicer, but you're getting something that's unique. You're getting a designer, you're getting limited edition, really cool pieces like that. But let's get into the glasses. So these ones in particular are a black frame with a blue lens and they are going to have a black outside with a tortoise lining. The tortoise is cool because it adds a pop of color. It's kind of like a hidden luxury for yourself. And then the daggers on the top, so they're gonna be, I believe they're called daggers or spears, are gonna be in like dark uh, silver that looks like it's almost patinaed. And then you're gonna see on the outside, it's got like these really cool kind of like star looking things. The frames itself are gonna be a 10 millimeter acetate. So they're gonna be super strong, super rigid. They're gonna have the wire frame throughout the whole inside, which is obviously gonna to add to weight and color. The glasses itself are just so well made, but the hinges are like a seven hinge um, thing. So they add a lot of structure and strength to it. I really love these glasses and I think they're just a lot of fun to wear day to day. When you get a pair of Jacques Marie Mage glasses, you're gonna get a lot of like, I guess you'd say like accoutrement or, or kind of like stuff that's gonna go in it. Some people really like that some, some people think it's, wa think it's wasteful. I'll leave you to be the one to decide that. So the box itself is gonna be this really beautiful kind of red velvet looking box. Uh, it opens up very quickly like a hinge and then they're gonna give you some verbiage and stuff on this. My favorite thing about this is the card itself. This one right here is gonna talk about how a percentage of the proceeds are gonna to go to like the US and American wildlife. You'll notice that some of their brand stuff that they do is gonna be like the Yellowstone collection or the Frontier collection. Um, so they use a lot of natural things like jade and, and silver and things like that, which are really cool. I can't afford those ones yet, but it's definitely on my list. It's cool that they're gonna be doing like this. And then in regards to all the cardstock, it's like really heavy, good cardstock. 
Something that is cool as well is every pair of glasses that you get is going to have some sort of like certificate of authenticity or something like that. Like I was saying, these are the Circa collection. So it kind of goes into the whole situation. I'm not gonna read anything about this. I'll leave a picture right here so you can kind of read it over. And then on the other side, you're gonna get kind of information and the inspiration behind the glasses. So if you look at this, these ones are called the Dielen, and then I'll kind of give you a, a readout on this one. I am a terrible reader, so don't judge me too hard. So it says, throughout the mid 1960s, Bob Dylan toured the world with a sole companion. One pair of iconic black cat eye spectacles, the Dielen pays homage to the unique relationship between the man and his eyewear. I think that's kind of a cool thing, and then it, again, it it'll show you number 61 of 500, and then it'll tell you the, the person that designed it and then the person that built the glasses in Japan. Something that I think is an awesome touch that just elevates the brand itself so much. Obviously when you get it as well, you're gonna get, this is gonna be like a lining bag where you would like stick your glasses inside. So if you wanted to, you would just kind of, Throw that in there. And then this is like a soft lining so you don't scratch it. And then you're going to have your hard piece as well. So the nice thing about the glasses is each pair, because they're kind of big frames, it's gonna be designed specifically for that glasses. And you'll see that it fits in pretty good. I mean, there's a little space because I'm just stuffing it in. I'm not really being smart with it. The case is really beautiful. I don't use it all that much. I kind of just stick it in the box. And then you're gonna get a very like, microfiber cloth. I use like throwaway microfiber cloths, so I'm not gonna use this one. I kinda just keep it perfect as it is and leave it in the box. But really nice touches that really take a, a good product and elevate it to the next level. I feel like when you're buying something that is like a high level of quality, it's the little things. It's these little tiny things like with denim, it's your certain levels of finishing and salvage and stuff like that that just elevates the product so much better and makes it worth the price. The box itself is really, really cool. In regards to the glasses itself, as far as dimensions go, they do two different versions. They're gonna do a 50 millimeter, which is the size that I got. This is gonna be the smaller of the two. And I think it proportions my face extremely well. And then they're gonna do a 53. A 53 would be huge on me, but if you're a bigger guy, I'm 5'8", about 175 pounds. And I've got a kind of an average to smaller size head. These are the 50 and I highly recommend them. The name itself is called the Noir 3 or 4, but I highly recommend these glasses i think they're a great size a great look and just overall amazing so like i said this is going to be a pretty quick video for y'all i hope you enjoyed it if you have any questions or need anything at all let me know in the comments below and i will see you soon goodbye